It started with a thunderous boom, and then a huge plume of thick black smoke that could be seen for miles. This was the moment officials in East Palestine, Ohio, had been planning for. A controlled release of toxic chemicals from several train cars at the site of a derailment, one that has forced thousands from their homes. All the way around, everybody. To conduct a controlled release came just days after the train derailed in the rural Ohio community, sparking a massive fire. As the blaze continued to burn through the weekend, concerns quickly escalated. That's because five of the train cars carried the chemical vinyl chloride, an unstable material with the potential to explode, shooting deadly shrapnel up to a mile away and releasing toxic fumes into the air. We don't want to second guess anybody. We've got to assume everybody involved was doing their best under a highly stressful situation. But did you see that mushroom cloud? That was caused on purpose. And maybe there's a good reason. Again, no second guessing. But what it means is those clouds of toxic smoke flew up and out. And that toxic smoke almost immediately began killing animals. Dead fish washed up on shore. As one hazardous materials specialist put it, we basically nuked a town with chemicals. So then representatives from the EPA, the environment,